Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome to another episode of Ikra Talent Show, our first ever talent show that we're doing in Ramadan. Inshallah, I pray your Ramadan is going well and you've had a good last few days of fasting. And also, I hope you've enjoyed the last few episodes that we've had. Um, I'm your host for today's episode, Abul Hasnat, and I, uh, I ask for your du'as in this blessed month and I make du'a for you too, inshallah. Um, before I do, I'd like to first give recognition to the sponsors of this show. So the three sponsors that we've had for this show are uh, Madinatul Khairi Al-Islam. That's our first sponsor. Our second sponsor is Madinia Welfare Trust. And finally, our third sponsor is Jamiatul uh, Khair. Alhamdulillah. So may Allah bless these three sponsors for allowing Ikra to present on the first time ever an Ikran talent show. And with that, I then move on to introduce our judges. And I'd like to welcome back uh, Sheikh Munawar Hussain. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum Hope your Ramadan is going well. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And also, I'd like to introduce Sheikh Maulana Fawaz Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum Hope your Ramadan is going well, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. And lastly, I'd like to introduce uh, Mufti Salam. Assalamu alaikum, Mufti Shab. Hope your Ramadan is going well. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so I've introduced um, myself, our sponsors, and our judges. So I go over to the main portion of our show. Is my six contestants here. I'm going to allow my six contestants to go up there and introduce themselves. They're going to tell me their names. They're going to tell me, well, I say me, you guys as well at home. They're going to tell you which madrasa they study in and what performance they will do uh, as well. We've already had a great few days um, of um, performances in, uh, for these first few um, days of Ramadan and only one person can go through. But inshallah, every single one will be, every single contestant will be awarded with a medal for taking part in here, inshallah. So, before further ado, I will begin by calling my first contestant. So, Aryan Hussain, if you'd like to come up onto the stage, Aryan. <laughs> الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عما يتساءلون عن النبع العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل العود مهادا والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباتا وجعلنا النهار معاشا وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبْعًا شِدَادًا وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَهَّاجًا وَأَنْزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْسِرَاتِ مَاءً سَجَّاجًا لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا وَجَنَّاتٍ أَلْفَافًا إن يوم الفصل كان ميقاتا يوم ينفخ في السور فتأتون أفواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرت الجبال فكانت سرابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا للطاغين مآبا لابسين فيها أحقابا لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شرابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء أحصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نذيدكم إلا عذابا إن للمتقين مفازا حدائك وأعنابا 
Ali, and I'm just I'm so sorry, may Allah forgive me for interrupting Quran recitation, but we are just very conscious of time, so I'm going to stop you there. MashaAllah, it's an amazing performance. Stay there. I want the judges to make comments on you. And just to be mindful as well, contestants, um, just be ready. I may have to quickly come in and cut you out. And it's so hard for me as well to cut someone out in the middle of Quran. But I'm going to quickly move on to my judges. Um, Sheikh Mawlana Fayez Ahmed, if I can have your comments, please, inshallah. MashaAllah, beautiful recitation, but Tajweed, Makharij, Idi ke tumi kya alkhor tavi bai? Aur tumi mehnat karta hai, jodi mehnat karo, to tumar confidence hai, Alhamdulillah. Taile tumi hafiz e Quran hoyta hai, baalim e baamal hoyta hai, baalim. InshaAllah. Allah pake khubul farmao ka. So just to translate what um, uh, Mawlana Sahib has said there, he said you've got beautiful uh, tajweed, but he wants you to be cautious of your tajweed, uh, beautiful recitation, but he wants you to be, uh, be cautious and be mindful of your maharij and your taj tajweed in of itself. Okay, and inshallah, he makes dua that you will become an amazing qari and amazing hafiz at some point in life. Okay, if I can ask my audience to join in and say, mashallah. Okay, well done, Alian. I'd like you to take a seat. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. That's our first contestant for tonight. Thank you very much, judges, for your comments there. And I'll allow you to make your notes on that while I introduce my second contestant for tonight, which is Ayan Hussain, also from Popular Central Mosque. Ayan, if you want to come up to the stage. And Ayan, once you go up there, I want you to set up the microphone so it's close to your mouth and step forward as close as you can. Ayan, if you want to stay there, I'm going to go over to um, Sheikh Munawar Hussain to give comments, please. MashaAllah, Ayan Hussain from Popular Central Mosque. Alhamdulillah, your reciting is very good, but you need to be more confident. Uh, inshallah, I hope you enjoy your recitation. And next time when you're pre performing or reciting Quran, you have to be more confident. Jazakallah khairan, ahsan al jaza. Jazakallah khairan, very encouraging word. If I can ask the audience to join in and say, mashallah. <laughs> okay, Ayan, if you want to take a seat, well done. And Rizwan, if you'd like to go up, Rizwan, if you can do salam to the judges, stand as close to the mic as you can for me.
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة Well, as one, stay there. I'm going to get comments from Mufti Saleh Ahmad. Inshallah. Mashallah, Ridwan Hussein. Your name is Ridwan Hussein. Ridwan Ahmad. Mashallah, beautiful name, Ridwan. Mashallah, beautiful. Your Azan is beautiful. Mashallah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give barakah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala accept you. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make you hafiz, hafiz the Quran, da'i ila Allah. Allahumma amin. If everyone join and say Mashallah. Rizwan, well done. If you want to take a seat, and that's our third contestant. And now I'm going to ask for our fourth contestant, uh, Saeed Shazib Ali. My first dua is the dua when greeting a fellow Muslim. Instead of saying hello, you should say. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And when you're replying to that, instead of saying hi, you should say wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. These two du'as mean may peace be upon you. My next du'a is the du'a when you're entering the toilet. Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min al khubusi wal khaba'is. O oh Allah, I, I seek refuge from you as I enter the male or female's toilet. My next dua is the dua when you're, when you're leaving the toilet. Ghafranaka alhamdulillah illazi azhaba an il aza wa afani. The shortest way of saying this dua is ghafranaka. This dua means, O oh Allah, please forgive me and give me your pardon. My next dua is the dua before your meals. Bismillahi wa la barakatillah. In the name of Allah, I begin to eat my meal. And the dua after your meals. Alhamdulillahi allazi at'amana wa saqana wa ja'alana minal muslimin. In the name of all, all praise to Allah who has quenched our thirst and fed us very well. My next dua is the dua for your parents. Oh Allah, please bless my parents and have mercy on them as they have taken care of me all my life. My next dua is the dua of repent. Oh Allah, please forgive my sins. Say, so, Shazid, that's a brilliant, brilliant, uh, brilliant collection of duas. Um, I'm going to go over to. Um, uh, Sheikh Maulana Foyez Ahmed for your comments, um, Maulana Shab. Well done, MashaAllah. To me, best for you to do a for so ask you, Mother Shomaje, on a borora chain, Jader Shumus to do a rupor amon my. To me, a suto boyashe, a mother ke, shikadi, a mother community ke, indicate corcho, jamra, protect a kadden alaka shoron raki, among a mubarak do a guluk janamra, 
আমরা পড়ি জাজাকাল্লাহ খায়ের আল্লাহ রবুল আলমিন আমাদের চলার পথে সব সব সময় যেন আল্লাহকে স্মরণ রেখে আমরা চলতে পারি প্রতিটি কাজে যেন আল্লাহকে স্মরণে রাখি প্রত্যেকটা কাদের আগে আল্লাহকে স্মরণ করে কাজ করতে হয় এটা যেন আমরা স্মরণে রাখি আল্লাহ ভাগ তোমাকে আলিমে বা আমল হাফিজে কোরআন হওয়ার তৌফিক দান করুন আল্লাহ মামিন Thank you Shazib I'm going to ask you to take a seat Sayyid Shazib Ali and I am now going to that's four contestants out the way so I'm now going to call my fifth contestant which is Nafis Rahman Nafis if I can go, ask you to go up there just the microphone to come down <laughs> يا من في قلبك رحمة للناس يا من ألفت قلوبنا بالإسلام يا حبيبي يا شافي يا رسول الله بأمي وأبي فذيتك سيدي صلاة وسلام عليك يا نبي حبيبي يا محمد أتيت بالسلام والهدى محمد حبيبي يا, يا محمد يا رحمة للعالمين يا محمد يا من هليت حياتنا بالإيمان يا من بجمالك ألمت الإحسان يا من نورت قلوبنا بالقرآن يا حبيبي يا شافي يا رسول الله بأمي وأبي فذيتك سيدي صلاة وسلام عليك يا نبي حبيبي يا محمد أتيت بالسلام والهدى محمد حبيبي يا يا محمد يا رحمة للعالمين يا محمد صلى الله على كتم الأنبياء محمد محمد رحمة للعالمين رحمة للعالمين محمد محمد رحمة للعالمين رحمة للعالمين حبيبي يا محمد أتيت بالسلام والهدى محمد حبيبي يا محمد يا رحمة للعالمين يا محمد Inshallah. Can Nafis, you want to stay up there? We're going to hear some comments from Sheikh Munawar Hussain, Inshallah. Mashallah, Nafis Rahman. May Allah bless you. Beautiful Nasheed, you performing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your Nasheed. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. If everyone in the audience can join in to say Mashallah. Mashallah. Nafis, you want to take a seat? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. Five contestants are done. I have the final contestant for tonight. And then we will be looking to see who goes through out of our contestants. So, Muhammad Akib Alam, if you'd like to go up, please adjust the microphone. Today, I stand before you to shed light on a fundamental aspect of our faith, an act that serves as a cornerstone of our connection with the divine, Salah. The ritual prayer in Islam, in a world filled with distractions and challenges, Salah stands as a beacon of guidance and as a source of strength and, in, and as a means of spiritual elevation for every believer. Firstly, let us reflect on the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran where he says in Surah Tuli Mu'minun verse 1 and 2, A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim, bismillahi rahmanir rahim. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ يُخَاشِعُونَ indeed, indeed, the believers, indeed, the believers are those who are successful. Those who stand firm to Salah. 
another verse in Surah Al Ahzab, verse 33. Indeed, prayer prohibits immorality and wrongdoing. Allah has given us prayer. Allah has given us prayer to make sure we don't do any wrong sins. sins. Make sure that we don't do sins to keep us on the firm, to keep us on our deen. Another verse, which is, which is from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 3. Whoever believes in the unseen, keep up the prayer and give out of what we have provided for them. Allah commands us in the Quran to pray, to pray for Allah. There are some hadiths that the Prophet wasallam told us to pray. One of them is our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, Salah is the pillar of deen. This hadith signifies the importance of Salah. As Salah is one of the five pillars of Islam. Alhamdulillah. Without Salah, we are not Muslim. Without Salah is our guidance, is one of the main guidance of a Muslim. Without Salah, we are not on the right path. We are on the wrong path. We're on the path of doing sins. We're on the path of shaitan. Astaghfirullah. I would like to continue my speech by giving another hadith. Qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Miftahul jannat is salah. Salah, the key to jannah is salah. This hadith underscores the pivotal role of salah plays in shaping our overall conduct and determining the success of our deeds in the hereafter. It serves as a litmus test for the sincerity of our faith and commitment to fulfilling the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Additionally, salah serves as a spiritual anchor in the midst of life tumultuous seas. In the hustle and bustle of our, days li- of our daily lives, salah provides us with the moment of tranquility and reflection, allowing us to detach from world distractions such as money and reconnect with our creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It serves as a reminder for our of our ultimate purpose in this world, to worship Allah and seek his ultimate pleasure. In addition to its spiritual benefits, Salah also fosters discipline, time management, and a sense of community among believers. Though congregational prayers we come together as through congregational prayers, we come together as one ummah, standing shoulder to shoulder in worship and brotherhood, transcending barriers of race, ethnicity, and social status. However, let us not forget that Salah is not merely a ritualistic obligation but a profound spiritual existence. It is a conversation of our Lord, a moment of intimate content connection where we pour out our hopes, fears, and gratitude before him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-A'raf, verse 205, and remember your Lord within yourself in humility and in fear without being apparent in speech in the mornings and the evenings and do not to be among the, the heedless. Inshallah, well done. Um, I'm going to go straight over to our judges. Mufti Saleh, if I can ask you to comment on um, this speech by Muhammad Akib Alam. MashaAllah, Akib Alam, MashaAllah, a beautiful speech. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you a, a good speaker, inshallah, inshallah, in future. Jazakumullah khairan. Inshallah. My audience can join in to say, MashaAllah. Okay, Muhammad Akib Alam, I want you to stay up there, go over to the very end, and if I can ask the rest of the contestants to join um, Akib onto the stage. We have finished the six performances from our six contestants today. Um, well done to all six of them from Popular Central Mosque. Um, as you can see, they're all wearing their medals, which means they've all performed very well, and we're all very proud of you. Inshallah, this is the future uh, for the Ummah. However, as part of Ikra Talent Show, only one can go through to the next round. So I'm now going to look over to my judges and say, judges, have you made a decision on who you are going to send through? The judges have made the decision. So I... I am going to read out for tonight's uh, Ikra talent show. The person that's going to go through, the young man, a performer that's going to go through to the next round is Nafis Rahman. Step forward, Nafis Rahman. Audience, please join in to say, Mashallah. Takbir. 
mashallah. Well done, Nafis. Um, that's it. That's all we have time for. We are we are going to wrap up today's episode, but we've had another contestant go through to the next round. Inshallah, I pray your Ramadan is going. I hope you've enjoyed this show. Um, please remember me, my family, everyone that's here with me here today, and their families in your duas in this blessed month. We shall remember you. Until the next episode, I look forward to seeing you then when our cont- contestants going through perform. So until then, Ramadan Mubarak. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.